4.0 earthquake in Chile. For a very long time, I had like two beats you know, inside my body, like the, my heart and then the earth itself having its own beat inside, inside the body. The vibrations I, I felt when there was a, an earthquake, they're very, very soft, very s subtle. It's, uh, I imagine the earth, like it's, it's like breathing. And then sometimes when there's a big one, it's like a, a deep breath. My name is Moon Rivas and I'm a cyborg artist. Well, if I had to explain to my grandmother what a cyborg would be, I would say that it's a person that has united to technology and it has united to technology in such a way that the technology now is part of them. For example, my last project was that I had some implants in my feet they were connected to online seismographs and whenever there was an earthquake somewhere in the planet, I would feel a vibration inside my body. And depending on the intensity of the earthquake, the vibration I felt would be stronger or less strong. And I call this the seismic sense, the sense of feeling the seismic activity of the planet in, in real time. So I see these new creations of new senses of cyborg art, but the problem of cyborg art is a bit that it happens inside the artist. So it's an, uh, it's an artwork that uh, the artist itself is the only the audience because we are the only ones experience this new perception. So in order to share what I feel, I do external performances. And one of them is a dance performance that is called Waiting for Earthquakes and I stand still and whenever there's an earthquake I move according to the intensity of the earthquake. So earth is the choreographer of the piece and I'm just the interpreter and moving whenever she, uh, she tells me. The first ones were very, it was a very profound feeling and then yeah you get used to it and then I remember the, the biggest and the most catastrophic was the one in Nepal and it was very weird because I, I felt like kind of guilty, you know, it was, I felt connected to this movement, of course, because I was literally connected, but I was so far away from, from there. I felt it in such a different way. Every time that this really bad thing, uh, it's like something bad happened, it, it made me, I uh, wonder what, how, how can I defend this or like my artwork, no? It's, it's like a bit struggling, wondering uh, the value of, of the work. And then I decided that the most strong thing I could do would be to take them out. And the weird thing is that when I took them out, uh, nothing changed because I I took them out and I could, I could still feel the vibrations inside my body. And, and then I, I understood uh, when the people say, uh, tell about the phantom effect, that if, for example, when someone has an arm and they lose the arm and they can still feel the arm, I had this phantom effect with this, my new sense, this, the, the sense that I had. I didn't have the senses anymore and I could feel the vibrations inside my body because I, I've been feeling it for so long. It's like, will I be feeling or identify myself as a cyborg even if I don't have the senses? And, and, uh, and then when I, I had this phantom effect, it was like, maybe I'm a phantom cyborg because I'm a cyborg, but because of this phantom effect. And I, I really enjoy this these new experiences because then it, it I think it's uh, what artists do also no like to keep questioning and think what how do you see the world and what how do you experience it and and I guess I keep provoking these things in order to experience reality or, or the my my own identity in different ways
I guess my next thing or what I would like to, because I, I really like the space and I really like the sea and the ocean. And I see those two worlds uh, very similar because I, the first time I went diving, I felt like, like flying in space. And it's really exciting. And it's also a very mysterious world that it's just here in our own planet and we know nothing. But yeah, I guess uh, naturally now that I, I don't feel the earth, I guess my next step is like, yeah, leaving the, the earth itself, like the earth, but like as a material and going to the water and air, I guess. <laughs>